Greetings! Today we'll be viewing a 2 vs 2 on Abyssal Arc. I uh, figure we don't have many water battles on here yet, so might as well get... Ow! <laughs> might as well get one. And do that. Just go walk over to the corner here. Alright, so on the west side here, we have Seton and Twilight. And then on the east side, we have Magpie and myself. Magpie is going, going to try for some early air. Um, the map itself, there's not a lot of land metal. There's a couple patches here and a couple patches here. Literally <laughs> both sides there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight patches total. Um, so it's not ideal, but it can give you a nice push if you manage to pull it off. Um, lots of water metal. It's made to primarily be C map. Hovers, hovers would probably work pretty well on this map too. I think I did try them later on, but it was pretty late. Uh, looks like we have Seton starting with a shipyard, as is Twilight, and myself, and Magpie is getting some resources to power his aircraft. And my commander's walking to the corner. <laughs> Alright, so let's speed this up a bit. Seton getting an early constructor out. And same over on my end. Magpie's getting that air up. And then Twilight's getting his constructor out as well. Tides, I believe, were 20 on this map. Winds were really good. They're about 20 to 25. Uh, limited space for them, but they are really nice. Oh, oh. So I was going way too fast. Magpie coming in for a uh, bombing raid, trying to get that shipyard. Seton does have a searcher out, though, so that should help against the air a little bit. Ooh, so close to getting that shipyard. It looks like he has his commander repairing it. It's probably what saved it. Coming in with some gunships. The, uh, the water makes it pretty hard to hit shipyards. You really gotta aim for that chunk of the the chunk of the shipyard in the corner there. I was coming in with a uh, skeeter, hoping to lighten the AA load here for him, but didn't manage to do anything. Twilight's getting <coughs> some skeeters of his own out, working on his resources. Thought I heard a cat. Sorry. <laughs> Um, looks like I'm getting another constructor up. My other one is going out to grab all this metal here. And Seton's putting up some AA. I will say the one thing nice about Magpie starting air, um, and definitely almost, <laughs> almost killing the shipyard, was it forced Seton to play more defensively early on to... You know, he has to get some uh, stingers up to protect against the air. So that's really nice. And it just having air flying around will um, cause them to make more AA. Something we don't have to focus on particularly. Especially they both went ships to go air now. I mean, Magpie will already have a nice, nice chunk. And I, and I mean, an air start, I mean, it had to be rough. I had to give him a uh, constructor so he could go around and grab all the uh, metal. Seton does have a pretty nice um, defense going up over here against the air, though. Magpie trying to come in with some blade wings and paralyze it all. Not sure... 
Honestly, I'm not sure why. I think he was... No. I don't know. Because he had nothing to follow up. Now, if he had some gunships in there, it would have made more sense. I don't know. I don't know. Twilight, though. He's coming in with a nice little skeeter push here. Um, I don't know what I have. Looks like he... <coughs> Excuse me, looks like he's trying to get rid of some of Magpie's planes there. I managed to get a couple Skeeters, a Decade. I do have a submarine going up to uh, Seton, hoping to finish off that shipyard. And thankfully, because he focused so much on air, he didn't have much in the way to stop it. I was able to get a lot of resources and a lot of the defenses, but he did get a jellyfish up pretty quickly in response. <laughs> yeah, had Twilight pushed, he might have been able to do some damage. I had this one torpedo launcher, which probably would have... Uh, looks like he did push because he marked it, but I don't think he used everything. Like, that big group might have been able to do some good damage. <laughs> so I've got some gunboats coming in here. They're more direct fire. They're supposed to be like your main little combat ship, kind of like the Flash or the Pee Wee of your army. And I'm, I did an all right job there. Unfortunately, it not enough to uh, challenge the Stingray there. Tried to go up and see what I can get of Sentence, but. But alas, I was stopped. Sorry about that. I had to pause real quick. Uh, where were we? Probably had an unfinished thought in there. I <laughs> apologize. So we've got Twilight building up a nice um, army here with Skeeters and the gunboats, the Decades. Uh, Setin is getting out much of the same. He's getting some searchers and some uh, supporters out the gunboats and also fortifying his AA. Magpie has a shipyard of his own now. Looks like he's pushing in with a sub. Seton did manage to get in Urchin up so it'd be a little bit harder but he does manage to get a few things and a constructor so that's big. And it looks like Seton is starting an advanced shipyard. Um, Twilight's got two of his own, and I've got two of my own as well. And then, metal-wise, we've got Seton at 27, Magpie 33. I'm at 17. I don't have energy. I don't know how much I'm at. <laughs> I'm at about 31, and Twilight's at about 32. I did try to send a sub up top here, but there was a jellyfish to stop me. I should have gone all the way up. Probably would have been smarter. <laughs> Twilight looks like he's amassed a pretty decent sized army. A big air push coming in from Magpie with gunships and um, blade wings. Quickly quickly got out of there. I think he was getting rid of the uh, the Topredo launch. <laughs> A lone searcher from Seton got behind enemy lines here. Had to pause again. I apologize. What, what was going on here? I was gone for a minute here. Oh, uh, Seton had that lone searcher coming in. Um, managed to get Magpie's construction ship, which is nice, but <laughs> lots of blade wings and a few gunships locked him down there. Big push coming in on the south from Twilight. I do have a sub to help stop and some defenses up here, uh, but it is a pretty sizable push. He didn't bring any subs or destroyers, so... My sub will be able to take care of most of it. 
And then looks like I have a counter push or just a force to contest here. Um, in response to the sub, he started building some destroyers and also starting his advanced. Seton is almost done with his advanced. I don't think me or Magpie. Magpie started his. And I'm just doing things, I guess. <laughs> I'm expanding. I'm trying to grab territory. <laughs> Gonna come back to bite me if I'm not careful. That's why it does have a few subs now. Um, just taking out anything I send up there. I think I quickly turned around once I noticed that. And he is laying chase. He's laying waste in his chase. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I have anything to stop all those up here. I've got one one harpoon. Trying to make a second. Probably won't complete it. Magpie coming in with bombers. I mean, not the best anti-sub, but it's better than nothing. And it saved my butt. <laughs> saved my butt there. I mean, it wouldn't have done anything major but he would have gotten rid of quite a bit of metal had he been able to run free magpie would have lost a couple constructors i would have lost constructor it would have hurt a little bit nice little army here from uh Seton. looks like he's actually moving in right now it looks like he's got aa a couple decades or um, supporters rather and some subs so he's got aa to help deal with all this and then the subs pretty much just bypass it all more subs coming in from Twilight. Um, I have a couple destroyers here, so I'll be fine, but it looks like he may get rid of this little defensive outpost there. And it looks like Seton did manage to break through. He's got a few subs coming, uh, coming through. I started advanced shipyards, it looks like. He will probably get a nice number of tides here. So, I mean, Magpie is making about 12, 1300 energy right now. Let's see, yeah, the aftermath. He might even get the aircraft land. I do know he lost it at some point. Okay, he did have a few destroyers, which managed to uh, help out a bunch. He did nab that air plant, though, <laughs> and got rid of all the air. So, that, that was a real nice on sentence part. Um, there's one bomber flying around so they're pretty um pretty safe from air for the time being but the the four destroyers there that, that's a sizable force we've got a um executioner coming out from setting he's got his advanced up i am about 60 percent magpie is about 70 percent and twilight's about 60 percent so he's shooting torpedoes at something. I don't know what. And the executioner coming in uh, to get the, get these enforcers here. I don't think he realized. He managed to do not much damage. Not much. And battle down here with me and Twilight. I've got mostly destroyers, but he's he's got more. <laughs> he's got more. I'm not going anywhere. Trying to get some anemones to help protect against subs here. Rebuild all this stuff, but he is coming in. And then Sentence pushing with his advanced right now. Um, there's not a whole lot that we have. I did manage to finish my advanced. Um... 90% over on Magpie and about 80, 85 on Twilight. He pulled his Executioner back. I'm not sure what he ran into. Uh, we do have Twilight just wreaking havoc down here. Uh, taking, taking the center from me now. There's really nothing I have at the moment to stop those. Looks like I set up a minefield as well in the center here. Um, 
I had plans to do it down here as well, but I kept meeting with some resistance, so it just didn't work out. Did manage to get two of those, nice. And the torpedo launcher here should maybe... Oh, <laughs> I had a nuclear mine. <laughs> All right, the, the nuclear mine managed to get rid of it. So I do have a nice army of gunboats here. Um, what, what are we doing? So it looks like I did just get a conqueror of my own. A What's the classification for those? I can never remember. A cruiser. That's the same thing that Seton had over here. The Enforcer, I believe it was called. He's got a Cronus now. The Executioner. So the cruiser, they like light advanced. I mean, nothing in Tier 2 Naval is really light, but... <laughs> it's, you know, they're like the light kind of combat unit. They're your, they're your gunboat, basically. How much do they cost? So yeah, they cost about twice as much, I think, as a destroyer. Just just under 1,400 metal. What's a destroyer cost? Sutton's getting a nice little group of advanced things out over here. I know he's got a destroyer. He doesn't. <laughs> and I didn't bring anything to get metal extractors underwater. That was That was a bummer. I think I realized that and just kind of um, backed off. I've got a Viking. I feel like me and Seton are doing much of the same things here. Hang on. There's something going on, but I want to see this. <laughs> the Cronus is the artillery bombardment ship. Hold on. So yeah, I don't know, I just kind of find that funny. So me and Seton both made like a cruiser to start and then said, <laughs> we thought like, ah, you know what would be nice? An artillery bombardment ship. He's making archers, uh, anti-air, anti-ship subs. I am not, um, but also didn't need the AA. They're really nice though. They they shoot depth charge launchers, which can be super helpful. Magpie making a push to the north with just a few destroyers. He did manage to get with like in the Cronus there. And made a nice little hole here. He is moving up his executioner to stop it, but he will get a few tides here. And a decent amount of energy. Uh not sure how much it hurt him as I just seen he had a uh, fusion up. But nevertheless, that's nice. Looks like I have some tier 2 subs coming out to clear these metal extractors here. Uh, getting fusions of my own up and I should... Oh, I do have some mohos. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got a guy coming around here making mohos and I think I was grabbing empty spots with it. Yeah. Some tier 2 subs uh, of magpies coming in too. It's a really nice push. The advanced torpedo there will cause an issue though. I think he managed... I don't know, did he manage to get that uh, constructor? I think he got Sentence advanced uh, construction sub. So it wasn't all for not yet. He just rolled another one out. I was taking fire from something. Probably another uh, sub or something. Uh, Archer's coming out from Twilight. He's getting Conqueror of his own. The uh, cruiser. <coughs> Excuse me, the cruiser there. Getting some Dragon's Teeth up to help fortify. Really good idea. It's pretty nasty defense to get past right there. And then, looks like I have a plant making gunboats, a plant making subs, and then just advanced stuff, whatever I feel is necessary. I tr I tried to help uh, Magpie out up here with a missile ship, and I totally forgot that I did it. <laughs> it took so long to go over there. I was trying to get rid of some of the stuff on the front for him. 
Thank goodness I got the uh, Moray up here. Helped out a bit. Magpie does have some subs to intercept, though. It's getting advanced air up uh, to the north here. Also massing the construction ships as well. Tons of construction ships. He's making about 67 metal right now. Uh, it's setting at 52. I'm at 53. Twilight at 44. Huge, huge push coming in from Twilight. Um, tons of AA... Tons of AA, uh, tier 1 and tier 2. Looks like I had mines. I think I did have light mines there. Medium mines, or mega heavy mines, rather. So that was nice. It thinned the herd a little bit, but it's still a huge push. And then I do have my little army that was meant to help hold this, but it's really not going to be enough. The Sea Serpent coming in, though. Uh... Those are really nice. They're, they're like the best of the best when it comes to submarines, but there's so many <laughs> archers and destroyers. He just, he melted. <laughs> he melted. That was a bummer. Those things are expensive. Those things are expensive, and I ran them into their death. 4,000 metal and 135,000 energy. Ugh. I don't even think I got but three kills. Didn't even pull its weight in metal. Oh my gosh. That was unlucky for me. But that was all I had to help with. <laughs> so tons of archers he's getting out. He's got like four archers here, five archers, six archers. Tons of AA. The archers kind of double as anti-ship as well with their depth charge. While it may not be the strongest, it definitely works. I, uh, lots of subs and decades here I'm trying to push with. Didn't accomplish much of anything. <laughs> Didn't accomplish much of anything. So we've got tons of torpedo bombers uh, coming out from Magpie here, which should be huge. Um, but he's got flackers. I don't know what happened there. I feel like they should have dropped... <laughs> there was a lot. They should have dropped some torpedoes on these. And he's shelling with a cane as well. Magpie's playing exceptional this game. Archer coming up trying to get rid of this stuff. He's getting a behemoth up. Um, <laughs> he's sacrificing. <laughs> he's sacrificing construction ships. Uh, if he can get this, that'll be huge. Just barely miss it. He probably had a few of these. It looks like they're um, repairing it. That would have been huge for a uh, set in there. And he was close too. And now he's gonna. Now he has a behemoth up, so that's gonna be really hard to push on. A uh, sea serpent, or rather, a little biathan of sentence coming in to try and do some damage here. Um, Fortunately, he's still got some torpedo bombers coming about, and and there's defenses. Sea serpents themselves, um, kind of risky. You're you're risking a lot. That's what I learned in this game. <laughs> now, if you pair them with a bunch of level one subs, um, maybe level two subs. Level two subs is more expensive. I'd. I'd go for level one just so there's more fluff to shoot at. And then they can just sit in the middle of the group and just wreak havoc. And I'm bravely charging with a single sub. <laughs> Tons of torpedo bombers coming in from Magpie. Uh, honestly, the best defense against tier two naval are torpedo bombers. 
I would have to say. Because there's not a whole lot um, in terms of water stuff. I mean, on the advanced level, you have advanced torpedo launchers, and that's pretty much it. You'll have your stingrays, which, you know, unprotected. You saw how long these things last. <laughs> um, the best defense against advanced naval is more advanced naval or torpedo bombers, which you could get through seaplanes as well. Um, the ones that uh, build from seaplanes are actually cheaper so if you're if you're on like a mostly water map that might be a good option for you since the seaplane factory doesn't have the specialized units um, like the cauterizer the crow on the arm side you have the spirit uh, doesn't have the the sea hook or the dragonfly it's Pretty much it's got fighters, gunships, bombers, torpedo bombers, uh, radar plane. Pretty sure that's it. Uh, they cost a little bit less. So those are a good option, uh, especially if you're in a advanced naval game. Because those torpedo bombers, I mean, they might not survive, but they'll definitely kill their intended targets if you uh, <laughs> have enough of them. Looks like we've got a millennium coming out from Twilight here. Um, is that a construction sub? Yeah. Setting getting construction sub up. I know he had. Yeah, okay. He's got seaplanes going up here as well. Uh, he went for the cheaper option. I'm going for hovers. <laughs> I'm going for the thing I probably should have made instead of this uh, extra shipyard here probably would have been a good idea the it looks like I have a nice um, nice little force there Millennium and Viking and then the uh, cruiser there conqueror I think they're mostly for <clears throat> the fence at this point because we really <laughs> like in terms of defense magpie and myself we haven't done much he has a behemoth up there, which is kind of defense. It doubles doubles his defense and resources. I have a regular torpedo launcher. I did put two mores up in the center there. Yeah, see, torpedo launcher or torpedo um, bombers are, are just devastating. In fact, I wonder if torpedoes go through um, dragon's teeth. Looks like Satin did get his seaplanes up. He's making voodoo, which I believe are gunships. I was saying something before all that happened. Oh, defenses. Yeah, we've got these. I've got that. He's got pretty much nothing. He's got his units to defend with. And... Speaking of the fen, we'll see. I'm sending some of my stuff up to kind of try and assist here. We do have these mores, uh, subs moving up, and the Viking is able to shoot on these. Viking is basically an artillery, but for ships. And the Millennium does, uh, he's got that Moho exploiter, that's nice. Didn't last very long, but still. Did lose the shipyard again. And he's, he does have his Zulu back here, which is basically LRPC. And then Twilight's got a few things up here, which I just push on. I think I almost lost my Millennium. I was really worried because I felt like he was doing more damage to me than I was to him. And I didn't understand how because I had all those subs. <laughs> I think it was just like... Um, Oh, hovers coming in. So I did get spotters, which have depth charge. Uh, really nice. They were they were added a couple betas ago, I think. So they so that hovers had an option to deal with like underwater stuff. 
Is they basically act like the the shredder and the archer for the advanced naval almost. Really good against um. Oh, tons of bombers coming to get his advanced. He did manage to clear out the behemoth and the metal. And he did get the advanced air. Luckily, he does have a lot of vamps here. And he is just rezzing. <laughs> He's rezzing everything they send over, which helps, and repairing it with his uh, aircraft. No, I haven't finished this yet, but like our defenses are almost non-existent. We have those, and we have units. Down here, I have some stuff. What's up, Jock? My cat's coming up here. My cat's coming up here. I have a, some scattered things, but they're really n not going to stop a serious push. Ooh, that's a lot of sea serpents. Uh, but you, you come over here. They've got AA. They've got stingrays. Lots of AA, which... Which is needed. You know, they were being hit pretty hard earlier. Seton has a little, little less. He's got an advanced torpedo launcher there. Some AA, some flackers. I think Seton actually just lost all, all this up here. So he did have some. He had a little defensive line. I personally don't trust defenses that much when it comes to naval. <laughs> You know, you put up a few, but I, I don't feel like there's a defensive line that you can really make to stop ships. It's mostly just fluff to help your units. So I think you're better off focusing on building units. Um, you know, always try to keep some to defend. You know, tons of subs. <laughs> tons of subs roaming around here, I think. I don't know where they're going. They might be patrolling. I'm getting a little hover force up. And Seton's pushing pushing on Twilight here with this group he's been amassing. I think I think it's mostly stuff he's reclaimed from the middle. And probably a lot of the big stuff, I'm not too sure. But it's a nice sizable force here. There's a epoch. So it's trying to get an epoch out, which is basically the Oricone of this of the <laughs> of the sea, the Krogoth of the sea. Uh, but he does manage to get the shipyard. He gets the seaplane, and he pretty much comes in here and wipes out uh, Twilight. Meanwhile, I'm making a hover push. Well, hover and ship push. It looks like on the north here. You'll see the spotters will go through, and he has to manually target to hit hovers, uh, but they'll they'll just start dropping the depth charges, which is really nice, uh, especially if you have a defensive line like this. You send some spotters in with your ships. Not only do they have radar or sonar, they'll destroy anything underwater that can't shoot back at it, at least. And this is pretty much the end here. All in all, it was a pretty good game. Uh, there were numerous times where I felt like I was behind. They they came in, they they got Magpie pretty good early on. Uh, got rid of his... I don't know about pretty good, but they did get, get rid of some stuff up here. Never really... Neither one... Uh, neither side really got any attacks on resources in maybe magpie early on with his air but <coughs> it was a pretty good game um and you don't see a lot of naval games and I, I don't think i've ever done a naval game naval game on this channel yet i feel like magpie definitely definitely did a lot of the work here <laughs> I, f I just felt more like I was magpie support. <laughs> Let's take a look. Speed this up real quick, get to the end. I mean, 
base wise. You know, hit some fusions. Lots of fusions actually. <laughs> Tons of fusions actually. Some winds, magpie had I'm sure he had fusions somewhere, but can't see now. It's over. Magpie had lots of titles throughout the whole thing. He got that behemoth up. Let's see resources. So we are actually all really close. Um, in terms of energy produced, we all hovered pretty much at the same spot. I produced a little more energy. Uh, metal. <laughs> metal was really close. <laughs> Sen and Magpie had 220,000. Sen had a little bit more. Twilight was a little higher than Sen, and then I was up at 250, which is just a little bit higher than Twilight. Uh, excess. Sen had... About 70% excess. Magpie did really well. Um, twenty About 25% excess energy. I was right there about 70% as well. And then Twilight wasted quite a bit. Compared to everybody else at least. Uh, metal. Metal we had about 1,000 from Seton. 77 from Magpie. That's pretty darn good. I had about 1,000... 100 for myself, and then Twilight was up at 4,000. I mean, so all in all, like we all did pretty similarly. <laughs> I I never get a good score because I send stuff in the die, I guess. My, my kill to loss is always pretty skewed. <laughs> um... I don't know. How could they have won? How could they have won or did better? Hovers, hovers would have been, I think, devastating because there were basically no um, no defenses on our part. Air, if one of them had went air second, then they would have been able to contest magpies easier. Uh, it also gives you a few options. There's a few more metal spots, which isn't a huge deal. There are geo spots, which you are not going to be able to grab with the uh, with the land, but or with the water. But still, it's not like a huge deal. I think I think had they gone air, they would have been able to contest magpie a lot better, and then they could have even done some bombing stuff. It would have forced us to put more resources into AA as well. Me at least, because I didn't have air. Um, hovers would have hovers would have been really good. I feel I should have gone hovers second instead of making another shipyard. I feel like that would have been a really good idea for anybody. <laughs> the advance, uh, I've I've really felt like Twilight had really good pushes. He cleared me out of the center a couple times. I was never truly able to push on him because I always ran into his armies. Sentin did a pretty good job at breaking through Magpie's air and getting to his base. He that that's about as far as he made it though. And then, then there was nothing to follow up and get stuff back up. I don't know. I don't play enough naval to know. <laughs> it was a good game though. Um, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.